Church. Uh, so in a, in a very short time after we officially took it over as, as BCP, uh, Black Community Programs, we, 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 we also made space available to our other formations, our other organizations, like Sasso Eastern Cape at the, at the office, BBC, Black People's Convention, Eastern Cape, uh, and, and other projects, all, all were administered from here. So at any given time, how many, roughly, how many people would be in? Uh, at least between 10 and 20. Uh, then we had the resource center, that section of the church, which was, of course, library, uh, daily newspapers, weekly newspapers, and so on. And young people were, were encouraged, you know, just to come in, relax, eat a little bit, uh, and then, uh, of course, and, and then go. So uh, it was... It had quite a lot of movement of people. So it's so it's in its original condition. It's in its yes. original condition. Okay. Before, when when Steve was banned, um, he could he could still continue with his work for the Black Community Programs (BCP), um, which he then did, of course. And if you saw more than one person, he would go stand in the open there at the backyard see them if he wants to, but nothing stopped him in terms of his work. Yes. It was only when the police realized they made a mistake that they uh, brought an amendment to that banning order. And in the banning order it is specified that he will neither work for the black mm. community programs. Mm. So from that moment onwards he, he was no longer able to, to, to uh, work and function here. Thank you.